But. Michael Jackson rarely says more than a few words in public, but this weekend the king of pop unleashed a tirade against his record label. It's complete hate and evil. Jackson lashed out at Sony Records and its chairman, Tommy Mottola, saying he was mean, racist, and very, very, very devilish. And at an event honoring the singer for his 30 years in show business, Jackson couldn't resist when a fan handed him a poster depicting Mottola as the devil. This says it all, doesn't it? Fans expressed their support for Jackson as he rode through the streets of New York on a double-decker bus. Today, Sony fired back with this statement. In launching an unfounded and unwarranted attack on this man's reputation, Mr. Jackson has committed a serious abuse of the power that comes with celebrity. Meanwhile, with Reverend Al Sharpton and Johnny Cochran by his side, Jackson announced he's formed a coalition to investigate whether African-American artists are being exploited by the music industry. This has been going on for a long, long time. It's the latest round in a war of words between Jackson and Sony over poor sales of his most recent album, Invincible. Jackson says Sony didn't do enough to promote the recording. But sources say Sony spent more than $50 million to make and market the album. It's been reported that Jackson is deeply in debt to the record label.